Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Friday, the 15th day of December, 2023, Friday of the second week of Advent. It is 10 days, 10 days until Christmas Day. Um, coming to you from Leesville Road, uh, one of our entrances onto the campus itself, our great sign, Francis of Assisi, Catholic Church and Schools, our preschool and TFS. Um, as we come to the final days of, uh, the final day of uh, the, the um, of the 2023 year uh, for TFS and for our preschool, uh, we hear Isaiah again promising us wonderful things again that God will do for us. That ours is a God who cares about us. Ours is a God who wants what is best for us. And basically our God says, if you will just follow my commandments, if you basically just do what I, I, I ask you to do, then you will have prosperity and enjoy things and have life, have it to its fullest, have wonder, have beauty in your lives. Just listen to me is what God wants wants us to do. Again, God cannot command us to listen to him. God cannot force us to listen to him. God cannot make us listen to him. Um, all we can do is, is, is receive what it is that God gives us and put it to use. We know what happens when we don't listen to the commandments. Again, the, especially the commandment to love and to care for one another and to guide and journey with each other. Um, sometimes we are too focused upon the commandments that are negative, um, like, you know, don't murder, which is an important thing to do. <laughs> it's like an, an honoring father and mother, and that's an important thing to do. And not stealing, that's an important thing to do. But all of it is wrapped up in love. Um, and the fact that there is no commandment to love in the Old Testament, uh, but it comes with Jesus, is important for us to remember. Um, again, this is a season that reacquires acquaints us with love, um, and not just love in its fullness, because that will happen at Easter, but the love that begins, you know, with the, with the entrance of God uh, physically into our world now, the world that God created, the world that God placed us in, the world, good morning, good morning, that, that everybody, that, uh, that, that everybody will, will find a place in, that everybody matters, that everything that God has created matters. Um, this is the world that we are asked to, 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 to find love in and to recognize the fact that there's a God who helps to guide us through it. Um, uh, this gospel, that this, this reading today promises prosperity. It promises um, what it, the answer to all that we need, the, all that we want. Um, and we need to attend to it. We need to listen to it. If we don't, then the gospel for today, which basically Jesus says, to what shall I should compare this generation? You know, they're like children, you know, you know, uh, playing songs and, and telling people to dance at them. And then, the, and then, and then they didn't dance and, 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 and they make fun of each other and they, they poke each other and they, and they antagonize each other and everything else like that. Um, and, and again, they said that John the Baptist, you know, was possessed by a demon because, uh, be, be because of the things that he was preaching and what he was saying. And then when the Son of Man shows up, you know, they call him a drunkard and somebody who's a glutton uh, because he is not the kind of Messiah that they want. Um, again, this is the way in which God shows us that God cares through the unexpected, through the unimaginable, through those things we don't often, you know, consider uh, proper and holy are perhaps the great ways in which God works in our lives, the ways in which God shows us um, how much God cares about us and what our world is supposed to be and what we are supposed to be um, as messengers, as images of this God uh, in, 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 in our lives, in, in the world in which we live. Uh, there, again, it is a simple message um, to just listen to God even as it seems outrageous and ridiculous and not what we think how God should act, it is what is going to give us life. It is what's going to give us hope. It's what's going to allow us to see the light that shines in this world. I continue, blessed Advent, St. Francis and people of God, may the Lord give you his peace.